welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a rather exciting video. I'm so sorry. By the way, I'm sick again, guys. Or I'm more sick. I'm not sure. I'm just over this. I'm over my life. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys already know by the title what today's video will be about. So for anyone who follows me on Snapchat knows that I got a delivery from Huda Beauty or well, Huda Beauty's PR team. By the way, guys, I will never get used to that saying PR team. Like, who am I? <laughs> Anyways, I got this highlighter palette from Huda Beauty and this is the winter highlighter palette and uh, Yeah, I mean it kind of looks like any other Highlighting palette nowadays you have oh god. No. Anyways, it looks like this <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's all broken. I will fix it in this video though So what I'm going to do today is to fix these shades with rubbing alcohol and it's not hard at all the only thing you need is basically rubbing alcohol some patience and a spatula or a spoon spoons are amazing guys use a spoon if you have one and this method works on powders eyeshadows and highlighters so if you receive a broken shadow or a broken highlighter then don't throw it away because that is kind of like a waste anyways if you want to see how i fix my powders and my highlighters then keep on watching Okay, so first and foremost, I began by smashing up the highlighters. And the most important thing to think about when you're doing this in like a palette like this is to not mix up the colors. So if you don't feel secure enough by doing this like I am, you can actually place a paper or a book or a magazine over the other shades while you're doing this, just so that you're not mixing the shades. So right now I am using this spatula brush thingy that I got in the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette, but you could definitely just use a knife or a spoon to do this if you don't have a spatula. I then went in with 99% rubbing alcohol and I got this from the pharmacy because the percentage is so high and that is super important. The higher the percentage, the better. I then poured some of the rubbing alcohol into the shadow and I then mixed them together with the same spatula. then poured in a bit more to make the mixture a little less solid if you will and I then continued to stir at this point it was time to bring out my spoon just to flat everything out into the pan and if the mixture still looks like flubber then add more rubbing alcohol because we want this to be completely flat in the pan As you can see, I'm switching between the spatula, the spoon, and now also my fingers. And I obviously washed my hands before I did this, guys. <laughs> but like I said, just use whatever works best for you. Some formulas are a bit sticky and hard to work with. So just have patience and you will be all good. Open eye, 
Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight I then poured in a lot more rubbing alcohol into all of the shades, smoothed them out properly with my fingers, and then I just left them to dry. All to make sure that the edges and everything was laid down flat. So after 20 minutes, I came back and now it was time to go in with a brush dipped in some more rubbing alcohol and just like gently push down the shades down into the pan. Once again, it is very important to get those edges down and also not to get any air bubbles because then it might actually crack again. So I then let them dry for another 20 minutes and now I'm just going to take a tissue paper and press it down into the highlighter to just absorb some of the excess rubbing alcohol but also to create this like cute pattern that the paper tissue has going on here. So just press down the paper with some sort of flat brush or your fingers if you don't have any long nails like I do. I even think a makeup sponge will work out fine to press the paper down with. I then just cleaned up the packaging with some more rubbing alcohol. I wouldn't recommend you to use any kind of makeup remover because makeup removers usually contains oils and you might end up ruining the packaging with small oil stains. However, I did notice that some of the like black color of this packaging and also some of the shade names started to come off in the very end so try to do like one swipe <laughs> not like 43 like I did <laughs> And then leave it for a day or two with the packaging open. So yeah, that is how I do it. And this is the finished product right here. And as you can tell, I mean, they don't look as neat as they did from the beginning, obviously. But, you know, I just feel like throwing these away would be such a waste. I mean, they still perform gorgeously. They're really, really creamy. And I am pleasantly surprised by these. So what I think is that, I think that I really, because I'm not wearing any highlighter today. So yeah, I actually think that we are going to try one out today. I think I, mm, I'm not feeling too bold today. So I am thinking about trying out Northern Lights, which is this yellow um golden one here so maybe i should get my um, my highlighting brush i am just going in without any fix plus i'm just going in like this and pick oh she's pigmented <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it is um 
it's a little bit yellow on me <laughs> but I think that it is I mean it's gorgeous so I'm going to put a little bit of the blue one the Arctic glow and see mm -hmm. yeah I'm not sure about this not going to lie guys uh, these kind of highlighter uh, shades I don't really understand the hype it's I think that it is a lot like if you are like if you're going for a avant-garde look then I totally understand it but I mean how many of us are going for an avant -garde? I'm not gonna be the one to sit here and complain though because the pigment in this palette is unreal so that was it for today's video oh before i forget so i know a lot of people are recommending hand sanitizer to fix their powders eyeshadows and uh, highlighters uh i yeah i i would not recommend that because i actually i actually did that with one of my uh highlighters and it uh i can't really can't really pick up any highlighter at all. Uh, I broke my Ofra Blissful highlighter and for anyone who knows Ofra's highlighters are very very buttery and creamy so it's very like common that they sometimes break just by having it in your bag so be careful with them but they're so so pigmented and good. Anyways I broke it and I then tried to fix it with hand sanitizer and now let's see if I can sure you get a little bit of pigment but it's like can you guys see that that's nothing like hold on nothing so i i like i, I can get something up with a brush if i do this kind of thing but yeah but I, 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 like, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. So please invest in some rubbing alcohol. You can save it for forever if you're not using it. And also, it's very, very good to dip your makeup brushes in some rubbing alcohol sometimes before you wash them because that will kill any bacteria. So yeah, that was it for today's video. I really hope that you learned something cool today or, I mean, you've, you, you have probably seen this already so many other places, but this is much more like in depth. I really, really try to be extremely informative in this video. So I just feel like if you break a highlighter, a really, really nice highlighter, then please don't throw it away. It kind of like breaks my heart to hear that some people just throw them away. I know that they won't look as beautiful when you fix them yourself but at least you will still have them so don't throw them away <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you're not a subscriber yet then please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if this actually helped you and let me know down in the comments how it went and i will see you guys on the next one Mwah. bye guys now i'm on the outside